Hello, I'm Robert and this is part 1 for the Game Maker AI tutorial series. So, I actually made a part 0 which explains how the AI works. So if you're interested in knowing how it works, make sure to watch that video. And this video will pretty much just cover the setup and then in, in the next video we'll work on the actual AI part. So you want to make uh, 3 sprites and one which is 32 by 32 and make sure you center the three of them and another one with kind of like a arrow going on on the right side make sure you center that and it's 20 by 3 changes I'll copy it and make it a different color for the enemy so I'm actually going to start by making two objects the first one will be OVJ solid and we'll load the SPR solid sprite and we want to make sure it's uh, we check the solid. And now I want to make one more object which will be OVJ player. And I'm going to make load in that sprite and I want to start by adding a create event and a step event. And before I keep going, before I forget, I want to create a script named macro or macros and I want to do hashtag oops hashtag macro grab with V oh, one okay so now let's close this script and let's go into the create event and for the description let's just make create uh, bar so I want you to make one that's speed, let's equal that to 4, let's make x speed, let's equal that to 0, y speed, equal it to 0 as well, jump speed, we want to add the macro we just made which is grav times 15, and we want to make one that's jump equal that to zero oops left equal that to zero and right equal that to zero uh what's wrong oh never mind um well uh these pretty much work for the acceleration of the player so that it can move and these are pretty much the inputs and the grav is a macro which is pretty much what stands for gravity and I made it one but you can change it depending on your game to see what fits well for you okay so I'm going to start by going into the step event and I'll start with um, get input So I'm going to make, well just get jump and equal that to minus um, keyboard check pressed uh, or W. So with W we'll be jumping. I'm going to copy this. So control C. And we want to copy that two times control V and control V so instead of jump we want right we want to take out the minus and we want to leave a D and for the left we want to leave the minus and we want to change that to an A so um, let's do the movement now X SPD equals right plus left times SPD. So basically, when we um, <coughs> excuse me. So basically, when we uh, press, for example, D or A, if we press D, uh, we're assigning right to one, and if we're not pressing that, it's going to change to zero. 
and the same happens with left, only minus the negative value. So basically if we're pressing A and D at the same time, it's going to equal to zero because it's one minus one. And if it's just, for example, if we're just pressing D, uh, it'll be one times the speed of the player, okay? So that's pretty basic. So now I want to do an F statement and I want uh, Y speed to be less than jump speed. I want to open brackets and Y speed plus equals um, grab. Okay, perfect. And now I'm going to do another if statement. And this time we want a not place uh, place free, not place meeting. Place free x, y plus 1. I'm going to open brackets and y spd equals jump times jump spd perfect so basically this line uh, so if the y speed is less than the jump speed we want the player to go down so that's in the case so that's if it's actually jumping and if not place free x y plus one which means there's something underneath the player it means it can jump so if it jumps y speed equals jump and if it presses jump which will be w this value will be one and it's going to multiply that by jump speed and if it's not pressing anything it will be zero so y speed will obviously be zero so now i want to work on the collisions which are fairly simple so horizontal collisions and we want to do if place meeting x plus x spd y obj solid yep so let's say if you name this OVJ wall, just name it OVJ wall. Okay, so, or whatever, how are you named it? So let's create brackets. So now we are going to do a while loop. So while not place meeting x plus sign x SPD. Y OVJ solid. And Y plus plus equals sign Y SPD. And I just realized I did them for the vertical collisions not the horizontal oh, sorry about that guys so let's change this to vertical I think I'm missing something so I just realized I completely messed this up so I started doing the horizontal collision and then did the vertical and they have a, maybe a comma over there and yeah that should fix it so now i want to copy this and oh my oh geez sign y spd so now that should work just fine so now let's press enter a couple times so we have space to code and let's do control v and now we will do the actual horizontal collisions so if plus place meeting x plus x spd 
let's delete this. Um, actually, let's leave this like just like that. And let's change the X, the Y for the X, and also the X over here. And I'm creating an error, which is this plus. Okay. So now to finish off, we want to do x plus equal to x SPD and y plus equal to y SPD. So basically what these lines of code are doing, um, let's say if the player casts a wall at its left, it's going to not allow the player to keep moving. So it's going to make the x speed equal to zero if it moves in that direction and if it's not it'll just um, add the x speed to the x every frame so it can move so now we're going to test this out so now what you want to do is just to create a room with seam with some with seam with some object solid <laughs> well my english is terrible today sorry guys <laughs> And just add, <laughs> sorry. So basically want to do that. So now let's compile and see if it works. And it doesn't. So I want to see. We are experiencing technical difficulties. So basically my problem was that when I copy this, I added the press to this. So I want, you want to erase press from keyboard check on the right and the left and also because you have to have capital letters for the W and I figure it out by adding the keyboard check pressed VK space which you can also add if you wish to so if we play now it will work perfectly fine so you might want to play a little bit with the values to see what works well for you if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next one bye